shirt. Welcome to my channel. Um, today, as you can see from the title, I am talking to you guys about what it's like to be um, a D1 basketball walk-on. So, why did I want to do this video? Making the decision to be a walk-on um, was kind of complicated for me and I kind of realized throughout the process that, that there's not much information to turn to or people to ask about what it's like because everyone's experience is so different. If you're watching this and you're in your recruiting process and you don't know what it's like, I hope this helps. So the first thing I wanna talk about is just the differences, the like physical differences between being a walk-on and being on scholarship. So the first thing is obviously, and I will say the only real big difference is obviously the financial support you receive. Meaning when you're on scholarship, you have a full scholarship. And when you're a walk-on, you pay for your classes, um, you pay for your housing, etc. You don't receive a stipend. Um, so with that said, um, if you make the decision to be a walk-on, you kind of have to keep in mind that you don't have the time to have a full-time working job, meaning the support from your parents is really the most important thing. And so I'm lucky enough to be supported by my parents, and I think that's a really big thing to think about if you're going to be a walk-on, that you need some, some, some type of external support because you won't really be able to provide for yourself while you're on the basketball team. Other than that financial support, I think it's really important for me to say that there's no other real differences, meaning you receive all the team meals that the team eats before games, after games, um, the weekly meals that we get sometimes, you receive all the gear, you get the same um, academic counseling. With that said though, I think it's important to note that um, a big thing about being a walk-on is for first year summer school, you have to be taking a class as a first year to attend summer training. So if you wanted to do that, you would have to pay for your own summer class. So I think that's something to keep in mind. Have all the real like physical differences out of the way. Like let's talk about the actual experience of being a walk-on and what I have found it to be like after my first year. A walk-on in general is not easy at all. And I think everyone who plays basketball knows that. And I think the number one thing that you have to think about is what coaching staff you're about to play for. Meaning during this recruiting process, have you talking to these coaches? Did you feel that these coaches were transparent? Did you feel that they weren't just telling you what you wanted to hear and telling you real honest truths? The things that make you want to commit to a program aren't, oh, you're going to play. Because no one can tell you that you're going to play. That's something that you earn. So the reason that you want to go to this program is because you see how they built the program, you see the offense, you see the defense, and you see how you could fit into that picture and how you could work your way up from the bottom to the top. With that said, in making a decision to whether or not you should walk on to a program, I think something that I didn't do that I would have done is asking the people on the team if there have been walk-ons before. If so, then who are they? Like, how can you contact them? How can you ask about how they were treated as a walk-on? Because for me personally, I've had a great experience, um, but I have heard stories of other walk-ons being treated pretty badly. So I think it's important for you to see the reputation of your program around previous walk-ons. Uh, the whole concept of being a walk-on is really just being an underdog and working your way up slowly from that underdog position. So the number one thing I think I learned this year is to be patient with yourself, because it really is a learning process and you don't know how fast you're going to learn or how slow you're going to learn or what bumps you're going to see throughout that. So I think it's really important to be patient with yourself. This might be one of the hardest processes that you go through in your life, meaning that it's really the embodiment of the phrase, um, you earn everything that you have, you can't just receive it. Bruh. I don't know if that's the phrase, but something like that. Um, you really earn everything because you go into this program and the coach doesn't know you as well as she knows as she knows the scholarship people your teammates don't know you as well um so everything comes from within yourself i will say that the kind of coolest thing about being a walk-on for me at least is how much confidence you have to have to invest in yourself to that degree because when you think about it i mean 
you're asking your parents to pay for this whole college experience. Um, you're dedicating a lot of hours to this. Um, and the coaches still don't know if you're going to be worthy. And the only person that thinks you're worthy is yourself. So it's a whole like complete self investment into this thing. And the only person that really sees where you want to end up is you. So I kind of see it this way to where like I know what I could do, but no one around me know, knows what I'm capable of. And there's a certain power to that. Um, and that's really what should made, motivate you forward every day in practice um, to show what you know that you could do. So obviously the goal for every walk on is to get a full ride scholarship, right? From things I have heard and in general, everyone's process, everyone's path to reach that goal is different. I mean, some people re receive a scholarship within a year, some people in three years, some people never do. So I think you have to keep that goal in mind and you have to apply yourself to the program, to the work that you put in to reach that end goal. So with all this being said, like everything I'm saying is very positive, but if you're my teammate, you know that like I, I had lots of bad days where I didn't have this positive mentality where like it's very easy for you to succumb to the thoughts of like feeling bad for yourself, feeling underappreciated, um, feeling like this goal is too far away. That's literally the worst thing that you could do. Um, because in basketball in general, like I think all freshmen like to feel bad for themselves because it's a hard position to be in some, most of the time because not everyone starts as a freshman. So whether you're a walk-on, a freshman, a senior, a fifth-year senior, when you perform, you receive um, rewards, right? There's no reason to feel underappreciated. If you feel underappreciated, then give more and you'll receive more. With that said, I mean, if you feel mistreated, that's another thing. And I think that's when you should reconsider being a walk-on. So just one more thing to add. So the way that I think about it, bear with me, this might not make so much sense, but I think it does. So like, if this is the spectrum of like negative to positive effect on your program slash team, then like you don't want to be in the negative section. You don't want to be neutral because then you might as well not be there. You want to be in the positive section. So being in the positive section, right? So negative, neutral, or positive. Um, I think in high school, we have this mentality where the only way to like positively affect your team is to be on the floor, to score, to rebound, to whatever. But I think this is really important, especially being a walk-on and especially when you're on the path to being on the floor. You have to like widen your definition of basketball, meaning basketball is positive self-talk. Basketball is um, bringing energy to practice. Basketball is talking to your teammates. And like you have to take that and amplify it times 100 because not only do you want to challenge your teammates in practice, let's say you're not a starter, you want to challenge your starters to become better, but you want to bring a positive energy to the gym, especially when you're a walk-on because you might not be playing right now. So I think it's especially important for someone as a walk-on to bring a good energy to show that you have very positive effects on your team. So you should be that person talking your teammates' ears off. You should be that person that brings a confident energy to the gym. And I think that's really the only way that you could bring yourself out of this mentality of like, I'm a walk-on, I'm an underdog. Really just self-detrimental mentality. Did that? Self-detrimental. Yo, I think that's the wrong word. So if you're thinking of being a walk-on and you're watching this, comment below, uh, tell me where you're going, follow me, I want to hear how your process is going. Um, if you enjoyed this video, click like. I think it's here. Or it's here. I think it's here. Um, and subscribe to this channel for more. Thank you so much for watching. Again, I hope everyone is staying safe. And yes, I will see you in the next video.